So if you can, just explain, like, how did Texas exactly use you, and what did the Falcons exactly explain to you as far as how they might view you on the line? Um, honestly, I haven't talked to the Falcons about how exactly that they may use me or anything like that. But in the past, in Texas, my past year, my senior year, uh, I played predominantly three technique. Um, in the years past before that, I was playing 4-I in a 3-4 defense. Uh, some of my responsibilities would change when we would bounce in and out of 3-4 to maybe, you know, some type of true odd look with two fives and just a head-up nose. So sometimes I played five technique into the boundary, you know, and sometimes I moved all up and down the line. So I pretty much played every technique. Is there an area you think that you feel more comfortable in than others or? Uh, I think I really can excel at the three technique position. I think that's probably the most natural position for me. Uh, I think I definitely can excel. Appreciate it. Thank you. Charles Odom. Hi, uh, TQ. Can you um, uh, go back over the, the end of your season and, and uh, your decision not to go in a bowl game, but then to, to come back for the senior bowl? And how important was that for you? Um, really, the decision came from uh, we kind of got hit with COVID towards the end of the season. Our, our last regular season game, which was Kansas, got canceled. Uh, so we're probably a little bit over a week of just, you know, like sitting at home. Uh, so I was already thinking about not really participating in the bowl game. And I just wanted to get ready for, you know, what I had coming up, which was the senior bowl and uh, my pro day at the time. Sorry about that. And my pro day at the time. And honestly, I just wanted to get uh, as physically ready as I could, as well as get with my position coach in California as soon as I could so I could perform well at the senior bowl. Uh, that's where my decision came from. Thank you. Jason no Butt. Hey, TQ. Um, congrats on, on uh, getting drafted. Um, I just wanted to ask, you know, what do you know about Grady Jarrett, and how, how are you excited to play alongside him uh, now that you're with the Falcons? Uh, Grady Jarrett, I know he's one of the most disruptive uh, interior linemen in the league right now. Uh, uh, he's a heck of a player, and uh, I'm excited to come in and learn from him as much as I can. Uh, learn from any of the guys in the room and, you know, try to contribute as fast as I can when I come in. And then for you, during the process, did you get a, a feel that the Falcons were, were interested in you? And uh, have you had a chance to speak with Dean Pease and get a feel um, during the process of, of what they do, uh, what they're going to do on defense here? Um, not exactly. I haven't really talked too much about the schematics of the defense and where I'm a fit. Um, I'm, not, I'm not too sure about that. But um, I definitely talked to him a couple times over this process, but I had no idea that, you know, they were going to pick me at all. Uh, but I'm sure I sure am excited that they did pick me and that uh, I'm coming to ATL. Awesome. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Kelsey Conway. Hey, TQ. Um, I was reading about your history uh, in, in high school. It seems like you uh, had a pretty good high school career playing defensive end. How did you make the switch to interior defensive line at Texas? Um, honestly, it was more of like a natural thing. Uh, I just kept lifting weights and, you know, I kept eating. I uh, put on a, a lot of muscle mass probably in the first two years I was there. Mm -hmm. And it just kind of seemed like the right move to make. Uh, me kind of playing on top of guards or weren't as athletic. And I was a I'm a longer guy, kind of, as well. And uh, just kind of using my athleticism at that point, uh, at the three-technique position, uh, it kind of just was like a natural thing that I kind of just, you know, moved to the interior. Uh, but it definitely took me a little bit to get used to it. And I've only been a three-technique for a year, but um, I'm, open to, I'm open to play any position and to however to help my team. Thank you. Probably. Justin Felder. Hey, man, uh, oh, turn the camera on. C congratulations, first of all. What, what do you think are your biggest strengths and what you're going to be bringing to Atlanta? Uh, I think my biggest strength is that um, I'm a pretty smart player, pretty instinctive. Uh, a lot of the things I see is probably something that I watched on tape. Uh, when I play with my length, uh, I think I'm pretty dangerous. I'm pretty unblockable uh, once I get that done. Uh, I've been working every day since I left uh, college. Uh, to fix the things I need to fix. And uh, I've been grinding this entire time throughout this whole process. So I think my biggest strength probably be my length and 
you know, just to play like a long, lean monster. So I'm excited. Thank you. Brian Davis. You're muted, Brian. Are you, are you got me now? Yes. TQ, congratulations, man. Um, you know, you're going to be continuing a line of Texas defensive linemen who didn't go as high as they hoped, but they have sure made a lot of production when they got there, like Puna, Charles, and all that. Is that what's in your mind? Is somebody just give me a chance, and I'm going to go show them what I got? For sure. Uh, all I need is one, uh, one team to take a chance on me, and I'm so happy that the Atlanta Falcons did. I'm here, you know, to you know, my, to make my hometown proud, uh, as well as the Texas Longhorn and the Atlanta. Can you can you talk a little bit about how far it is from Temple to the NFL? Say that again. How can you just talk a little bit how far the road is from Temple to the NFL? Oh man, uh, it really it really seems like a long road, but honestly. Uh, Temple, Texas has a pretty strong pipeline to college football, especially Division One college football. And uh, I just grinding in high school, uh, it, it kind of just, you know, because it kind of just found, they come and find you when you're in Temple, Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, Longhorns found, the Longhorns found me. And uh, I'm just excited for this process. I grinded throughout college. Uh, uh, I found a way. And now I'm here um, with the Atlanta Falcons. I'm just so grateful. Cool.